Hey folks and welcome to another play along video. This episode is for the 10 penny bit, which is another Irish jig and actually is one that I've used in a set with the Kesh jig and uh, Morrison's jig and the Maid Behind the Bar. So slowly I'm working through making a play along for each of those so that we will eventually have a new play along with all those tracks in one full set. To be sure you don't miss any of those, do subscribe. And if you enjoy these videos, leave a like and a comment and let me know how you're getting on with all of the tunes. For those of you who would like to have your own copies of the backing tracks, maybe you'd like to practice privately, or maybe you want to make your own video or use it in a gig or something, um, the latter of which, let me know if that'd be quite cool to find out. You can access all the backing tracks on my Patreon, so head over there and join as a subscriber and then you'll not only get all the backing tracks of this video, but also every other play along video, past and future, as well as all the sheet music that goes with that. I recently have started making more sheet music, so this piano score and harmony for Eleanor Plunkett. And in future, I have plans even for some singing uh, with some vocal harmonies and melodies. As usual, we start playing the tune nice and slowly just to get everyone familiar with it if you don't know it already and I'll play it on the fiddle and it's worth noting that you can have quite a lot of open strings in this tune with the A and the E string so if those are ringing don't worry too much they should mostly fit with the chords okay first the A section Okay, now the B section. If you didn't know the tune already, I hope that gave you a good introduction. Otherwise, let's move on to our first backing track. This is the slower backing track, and I want to point out that in the arrangement I've made, the third time round, the A section is a really good place to improvise. So anyone out there who can improvise, or anyone who would like to try and learn, I encourage you to play something in the A minor scale, any notes, any order, doesn't matter, and have a little practice the third time around in the A section at improvising. Let me know how that goes. Let's enjoy our slower backing track. <laughs> Thank you. 
Great. I hope that was fun. If you did improvise, leave a comment and let me know how that went. A reminder to like the video and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss future episodes. And subscribe to me on Patreon if you would like to access all backing tracks, past, present and future, as well as all sheet music and various other bits and bobs that I will make. Your support on Patreon does really help, so I'm trying to give my Patreon subscribers as much exclusive content as I can. So head over there and see what you can get your hands on. Now, let's move on to our faster backing track. Hooray, I hope that was good fun. Jigs are generally played really quickly. Uh, I like them slow as well, but I hope you enjoyed both versions. That brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, this is going to become a set. Keep an eye out for the last tune in that set, the Made Behind the Bar. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment to tell me how it went. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the music, and I'll see you in the next one.